What's going on all my loyal Dragonites out there in the Dragon Den, King of Dragons 5000 is back with another action figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z event exclusive Android 16. Getting Android 16 out of the package we are greeted with a very impressive figure but before we go on to his details let's move on to his accessories. Android 16 comes with four different head sculpts as well as two pairs of hands. So unfortunately, this android is rather short on accessories, but with that out of the way, let's move on to his details. Android 16 looks very nice, he is on the larger scale of the Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts line. He is rather imposing with his size, but overall looks very good. Bandai has done a really good job capturing the look of Android 16, his face looks spot on to the anime. His orange mohawk looks really nice, and I love the way they painted his eyes. On his ears, Android 16 is wearing his earrings and they did a good job painting these gold. Moving on to the rest of the figure, Android 16 is wearing green battle armor. I think the shade of green might be a little bit too dark, I think it should be a brighter green but it still looks very good on this figure. His armor is looking rather impressive all the way down to his abdomen piece which has some really nice texturing. And on the left side of his chest we do have the red ribbon insignia. His battle armor does have three flaps that do go down his waist, we have one in the front, and then we have two going down his thighs. Underneath his battle armor, Android 16 is wearing a black jumpsuit. It's a skin tight jumpsuit that shows all the musculature on his arms and then he does have some gauntlets on his forearms. His forearms are removable so you can have him replicating his Hell's Blast attack. Then continuing with his legs, that jumpsuit continues all the way down, once again showing all the definition and musculature on his legs. Android 16 is wearing a pair of green boots. These boots do match the rest of his armor in color and they look really nice, I love their folds and wrinkles in them. The tip of his toes are done in that same black that we see throughout his costume, so overall Android 16 looks very good. I have to say Bandai did an impressive job with Android 16, so with that out of the way let's get him compared to our usual suspects. We have Android 16 compared to the Marvel Legends Cyclops and the DC Multiverse Superman. Mattel's WWE Elite Series and Mezco's One Toth Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. The Lightning Collection White Ranger and the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally we have Android 16 posed next to Android 17 and Android 18. So with his comparisons out of the way, let's move on to his articulation. Android 16 has a ball hinge in the head and a ball joint in the neck, ball socket in the shoulder, arms hinge out to the side and do a full 360. We have bicep rotation and a double hinge in his elbow, ball hinge in his wrist, a ball joint in his upper torso and a ball joint in the lower torso. Ball hinge legs kick forward, back, out to the side and we have a thigh swivel, double bend in the knee, a ball joint in the ankle and a toe hinge. I am very impressed with his size and his articulation so with his details, comparisons and accessories out of the way let's move on to my final thoughts on Android 16. The SH Figure Arts event exclusive Android 16 is a very nice looking figure. I'm really liking what Bandai did with this figure and he looks very good. One thing about this figure is that he is basically a reissue. Android 16 was originally in the SH Figure Arts line, however it has been several years since his original release. And unfortunately I personally missed out on that release even though he was on Big Bad Toy Store for several months. However years later Bandai did a much better job in the paint and color scheme for Android 16. Overall I think the event exclusive is a much better figure in terms of quality. He looks better and I enjoy the colors on him much more. Now unfortunately Android 16 was an event exclusive figure. He was at New York Comic Con in limited numbers and he did have a pre-order on Premium Bandai. And if you were unable to secure him at the convention or online now unfortunately you do have to go to secondhand market for him. Android 16 is a great figure and he looks very nice posed next with all the other androids. But seeing as how he was in limited numbers this version might be a little bit hard to get hold of. If you can track one down for a decent price I strongly recommend you pick him up. So with that being said my loyal Dragonites hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure videos as well as all my other Dragon Ball reviews. 
As always, if there's a figure you'd like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. As always, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, videos, and other goodies. So until next time, my loyal Dragonites, coming from the Dragon Den, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Be safe, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.